Hi, this is Shoe Rainer at the Shoe Rainer Drawing School and last week I went to visit a school near Bristol called uh, Watermore, uh, Watermore Primary School and they were uh, d doing a thing about the Second World War and they asked me if I could draw a Spitfire and I tried to do one there and then and, and it wasn't very good so I've had to go and do a bit of research and um, this is what I did. Uh, if you want to have a go, follow along and uh, let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Well, I think this Spitfire is going to be quite a complicated thing to draw, so I'm not going to try and do it in ink. So we're just going to use a pencil today. Um, now, what I've done um, is I've done some sketches here. Uh, let me get this sketch here. And I've, I've kind of worked out, you know, the, the halfway marks and things like that, uh, of kind of how it works. Um, but we're going to do this in a three-dimensional kind of uh, drawing so it's kind of coming at you so let's have it about like that I think so that will be the front and that will be the very back of the, of, of the plane there and we need to kind of draw in the profile um, and have this kind of big nose cone and it just kind of goes up and then it's pretty well straight across like that I'm going like that yeah okay and then it goes down and then it's quite chunky at the back actually so then it will come up there like that and this is kind of like a, a slice through at the moment um, and then from this line to that line we want to go kind of halfway and that is kind of where the wings come out like that. Okay, so on the Spitfire, the wings are basically coming out from the bottom. So we want a, a bit of an angle. So they're coming down from the bottom of the plane. Now that would be all right, but the wings are actually <laughs> at an angle to each other. They're sort of sticking up on the, on the sides. So we can take that up slightly and then this will be about there, then that will want to go up slightly to from about there. Okay, now that's the halfway mark, which marks the back of the, um, so I'm going to start, I'm going to start kind of putting in some kind of curvy lines here to give me the feeling of the curve of the fuselage here. The halfway line there is where the kind of the bubble of the cockpit is and in front of it you have the windscreen which kind of comes down like that and then there's a kind of a plexiglass kind of bubble over the top of it and then the rest of the plane comes out from behind kind of like that uh, you need a bit more room there it's a bit deeper there we go um, okay and then there's a kind of little line there where the plexiglass can shutter backwards uh, and then we want a curve coming up here so it's quite a big fat tail plane kind of coming like that no it's too no it's too I'm start my awful mess now <laughs> there that's better kind of like that and the tail wings are quite high up Actually, it's a bit lower than that. So let's have them about like that. And they will kind of follow through the body of the plane. There is a little bit on the top there and a line down like that. And then you can see these kind of lines on, on the tail plane there. And you've kind of got the three colours on the back. Um, and there we go. Now the wings are really quite slender. Well, they're kind of, no, they're not. <laughs> what they are is that they are quite pointed. Okay. So they kind of come to quite a point. Kind of like that. But what we want is a kind of a, a line, a curve from the, the body here. So it's that kind of joins in there and you're going to see that coming about there and then we want 
to feel the curve of the wing kind of going like that so then you can put some other kind of curve lines in there that the you know where where the skin is kind of put together like that now this propeller on the front is actually quite quite big I never seem to make this big enough okay so that's kind of quite big that part there um, and we'll do a bit of shading there and you're going to want a, an ellipse all the way around it like that and have some lines on the edge of the eclipse you can do quite hard like that to give because that's where it's going the fastest and um, now let me have a look at the ones I've done before which way there was one way I liked it one way that I didn't yes that's right so it's, it's a three it's got three propellers how am I doing five minutes this is a difficult thing to draw okay so we've got um, there are three propellers and you kind of want to do one of them coming out like that and some extra little kind of marks in there now let's firm this drawing up a bit now um, do we want to put the pilot in there I think we might do that so if we have the, the pilot in there with his goggles on um, and there's this kind of bubble over the top there and that little bit where the canopy slides back now you want to want to put a a little radio mast there as well, which is going to join up to the end of the tail. Let's bring that round. Um, and the tail again has a little kind of tail plane. There. Is that the tail plane? The tail? Hey, look, oh, I can't remember what these bits are called. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, you've got to put a little dark bit there and a kind of a bit on a uh, curve underneath it and that's the kind of air intake thing that's going on underneath um, oh, I'm pressing too hard I'm getting in a panic because I'm trying to get this all done in under 10 minutes I've got sort of about three minutes to, to, to kind of do something with this now again okay, I'm panicking um, and you're going to want to get these lines um, Put a piece in there one two three two three and those are the kind of the uh, exhausts coming out there and you want some kind of lines like that um, your roundels will be on the plane like that there's another kind of roundel on the side and you're going to have lettering I don't know uh, I, I've not researched the lettering I don't know what it should be I'll just put PY I don't know and there's usually a yellow ring around there um, I think there's usually a white band at the back as well um, so I'll just show you a bit of shading if we put some kind of shade if you if we have that kind of curve there and shade across then that kind of helps a bit now shade the front of the wing oh yeah we want the cannons in the front like that uh, okay and they'll be going bang bang um, and shade a bit on the front like that and that will give it a kind of a bit of body to it and some clouds and let's say <laughs> I'm gonna call that it um, because uh, if I just move that into the center there we go because I don't think <coughs> I can do much better in the time that I've got. So if you enjoyed that, uh, keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing School on uh, YouTube, Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel, and uh, www.shoe-tube.com, which is my own website where you can see these videos in schools and libraries. Uh, if you've enjoyed that, then just keep drawing, keep practicing, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.